This is a story about everyday heroes struggling to figure out what it means to live a good green life for themselves, for the communities they live in, and for our society as a whole. Like you and I, they don't have all the answers, but their ideas and stories invite us to join an important conversation. When I think about the question of why it's important for people to care about the environment, even within that question is this idea that the environment is something different, that it's something out there, um, a source of resources, something to exploit, something to go camping in. And I think even before we ask that question, that's a conversation that needs to happen. I think humans have been operating in a sense that they as if we're not a part of the environment, that we're somehow above the environment or control the environment or are able to just exploit it without consequence. And I think that's, um, that's not true. We're, we're part of this ecosystem and um, wreaking havoc on it right now. And I think it's, it's devastating to watch. Like when it, when it comes to the environment, when it comes to like, like the planet, I just have so much respect to it. It's like if you, if you damage it, it just, it's so hard to re repair it, right? I mean, it's so beautiful, and, it, and that's why I feel like I, ha I have an obligation to take care of it, to keep it clean, because it's my, it's my home, right? It's not us in our urban environments and environment out there, but it's air, and it's water, and it's food, and it's all interconnected. If we're not in balance, if we're not part of that existence, um, that balance, then, um, yeah, our existence is unsustainable. Today, we are at a crossroads. Climate change poses a fundamental threat to our health, our natural environment, and our economic security. Yet, we are increasingly dependent on extracting and burning fossil fuels. We consume resources at an unsustainable pace, and our governments fail to take serious action. Not surprisingly, as individuals, most of us feel overwhelmed by these problems and wonder what, if anything, we can do about them. But as we stand at this crossroads, more and more people are finding ways to redefine our relationship to the environment by thinking about choices in their everyday lives and by working together to make change on a larger scale. I think our, our network of sustainability has been stretched so thin with where our clothes come from, where our food comes from. I think that's a result of us living in a consumer society and some of the repercussions of that. Sustainability also, I think, for me connects with simplicity. Um, I think we, we live in a world where you can go to the grocery store and you can buy tomatoes that are in a plastic container. And I think that's really weird. Like we, we just unconsciously um, use so much and um, we throw it away. There's these consequences. It'll be like a, a, a huge social cost to society. I think it's pretty ridiculous to make choices that are going to affect generations of people beyond us without sort of any, any concern. For our oncoming generations, I feel that like we have an obligation for them to take care of the planet. It's really important to take the time to be able to imagine the future that you want for yourself and for your planet. We look at ecosystem as it's a forest or it's a prairie ecosystem, but really this whole world is an ecosystem on all levels. And for us as a community, we have a community ecosystem and it's the young, the old, um, the sick, the healthy. We all co-relate, we all coexist, and we all co-depend. Sustainability, I think, it's a really good word. I think we need to keep on using it. But when I, when I think about the word sustainability, it's almost something that I might be fooled into thinking I can do by myself, but I think we need to think bigger than that, and I think we need to think in terms of community, in terms of our interconnectedness and our interdependency. And so when I think more broadly like that, I like the word resiliency. So how do we move forward? What can we do as individuals, citizens, communities? Each of these people are doing their best to figure it out. Their stories will inspire you. <laughs>